Good evening, folks, and welcome back to Slime Rancher. Pretty sure I'm in the right file. If not, that's fine. We'll go back. <laughs> but, I mean, it is the last file I touched, so I'm pretty sure it's the right one. Alright. Yep, looks correct to me. Alright, so... Last week, we helped Victor along. We got treats in the desert. These guys are actually running low on these mangoes because they have to share them with someone else. I've done what I can to mitigate the stream crying when we have to look at slimes, but I don't know how much more I can actually do. So, um... If it's still stuttering, I'm very sorry. This is the best we get. I tried. Alright, so there's actually not a whole lot to do left in Slime Rancher, if y'all can believe it. So, what I would like to do... Oh, Ken says it's fine if the slimes crunch. Okay, I still feel a little bad that I never got it all the way sorted, but you know. If the stream is still enjoyable, that's what matters most. I just wish I could have done more. Anyway, near the end of slime time, which may be hard to believe, but it's true. I'm putting in the fruit right now. Can you guys calm down? Look at these guys. They act like I don't feed them. I'm feeding them right now. Creatures. Absolute creatures. Just like cats, slimes are like, I've never eaten anything in my life. Why is Beatrix so mean to me? Alright, so we handled a lot of stuff in the desert. Actually, as intended. As opposed to me uh, platforming around like a monkey. In ways that were not actually intended. Fun little jokes. Sortable Shelf says, I know it'll probably be a while before you stream it, but hopefully Slime Rancher 2 won't have these optimization issues. I hope so too. Like, the game runs fine unless I'm looking at the slimes that I'm supposed to be ranching. Looks at the floor so that I don't, like, lag the stream out. Oh no, I'm sorry! Ooh, we gotta look at slime! Ooh. I mean, I also have a lot of slimes on the premises. That may have something to do with it, possibly, perhaps. Like, I can pick up more plort. I cannot pick up more plort. Alright, who's who's calling me? Yeah, let's just go with Bob. Okay, 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 okay. Chicken, okay. Chicken, okay. Uh, two stripes, three stones. I know that the stripey hens have, like, a proper name. They're, like, briar hens, but I never remember it in the moment. Only after I walk away. I started saying something and then got sidetracked like five different ways. Okay, uh, we're actually close to finishing this game. I want to unlock Victor's lab all the way before I uh, go end the game though. So we're gonna, you know, do our rounds, do our slime check, make sure everyone's fine, make sure everyone's got food, turn in some plorts. No, not you. You. And you. And you. And one more of the stone hens. That's the stripe hens. Ah, oh, there's the stone hens. There's kind of a lot in here. Just take one out. Ken. Walk. We have so many chicken. We have a lot of chicken. 
I don't even feed them to my slimes, but I'm like, I feel like I should have the chickens, just in case. I need to feed them to my slimes, which never happened. Ever, ever, ever. Alright. Uh, you guys like vegetables? Have some vegetables. They're fine. Uh, let's take some of these over, I guess. like drown in these ports because I am too good at sliming I guess they are always very well fed and so there are many ports all the time I'm good at keeping the slimes good at selling the ports for a reasonable price no I refuse to hang on to these ports because I have so many of them. It's like, wait for your good prices, Ozzy. No. You know who does that? People who have space and no threat of port overflow. I have nine million slimes and they're all happy. check on the mosaic quantum lads Parsnip is the mosaic slime's favorite. There's a lot of fruit here. Here, have even more snacks. Can you not, like, explode me, please? Your sparkles, they're very pretty, but I don't appreciate being exploded. Alright, these guys, uh, plorts-wise, they seem fine. So we're not gonna worry about them. All that's really left to do is to check on the guys in the cave. Honestly, all we really have to do at this point, like I said, is head towards the end, uh, clean up Victor's lab and get access to it. You guys have food. Here. You can have slightly more food. Since you're also sad all the time. My god. big babies. Just like cats, I tell us, yeah. The, uh, fire slime should be fine. We might have to refill the, uh, drone so that it can keep doing its thing. Eh, uh, drone looks fine, but we'll top it up anyway. have made uh, lots of plorts. I will take these. Thank you very much. Woo! 
nearly a hundred of these. I like it. Of course, silos can hold like 300 things, so. Per slot. You can fill up a silo with many a thing. Right. I was talking about how we don't have much left to do. Victor's Lab. Uh, the end of the game. Uh, technically, the power upgrade to match our last hard module. But, you know, I don't know how many like points that's going to take. Probably a lot. And we're doing pretty fine with the amount of energy we have. So I'm not too worried about it. If I'm quite honest. Like, it's not the next one up. It's it's a lab upgrade, and the lab is fine. We'll worry about it when we worry about it, I guess is what I'm saying. And I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna top off this guy's strawberries real fast. Yeah, here you go. This is already almost full. Ridiculous. So getting rid of these as well. I really do wish I could show you guys how smoothly this game actually plays. But something about recording makes it sad. <laughs> Save your plorts for later, the game advises. No, I will win through sheer volume of plort. Cannot be stopped. Alrighty. Let's see... How much we gotta do with old Victor. Hey, Victor! Right, we've still got a few, like, five runs or so. Hopefully we can get them all done. I'll admit, I do not remember the exact amount of time required to cool down between runs. If I'm allowed, I might do a bunch of them at once just so I don't have to constantly be like, Slimes, gotta go attend to the slimes over and over again. Why did I think you were suspicious? Oh well. Come here. So many of you trying to go into the sea. Why the sea? Ah, come here. Pecos is back into the sea. No, I don't want them to go into the sea. I need to collect them. Bye. Do not fall into the sea. Thank you. Exploded on. Did you see that? So impolite. You're normal. Don't need. Don't need a regular slime. It's a regular slime. Yep. I see some face. I see some funny little guys. Some funny little glitch slimes.
see you. You think you can escape me? Okay. Here I said. Ooh. All that radiation. I'm gonna be sick. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I'm a video game character. I'm fine. Pico. A guy! Yeah! We gotta find the guys! Be a regular guy. That's... That's brick wall. Okay. Hmm. I think those are T-posing carrots. I vanished. It's a lot of chicken. You're regular. You're a regular guy. I need funny little guys. I need weird little guys. I need silly little guys. Silly little guys with a silly little face. Doing great. Towers are already starting to form, though. Where are you all going? Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Even glitch slimes are happy to be here. <sighs> Tars apparently are already getting bad. I was hoping for a little more time than this. Well, we'll grab what we can on the way through. Say staying in this place and picking guys up. Oi! regular. Just some normal guys. You'd think with the tar slime uh, glitches coming through, these guys would be more happy about being picked up. Instead of running away from me! Like, 
don't go toward the void, dummy. Okay. I need a good chunk of you guys. How dare you like, lose my slimes. says, is this Zab? No, this is the Slimulation, which is a virtual version of the Slime Rancher world, created by our buddy Victor, to study um, this place without having to interact too much with it. Unfortunately, it is full of bugs. Like a lot. Man, they're making me go, like, the full stretch here. Gosh dang. Wow, they're following me. I'll grab what I can do around here. Ow! It bit me! So rude. Alright, well, it looks like I got them back anyway. Don't touch me, don't touch me! Alright, so... Non-bug reports just don't come through with you. I guess once this turns green we can go again. I don't know how long that cooldown takes though. Here you go, Victor! What, Nico? You're so sad! Sad lad. You want to be free, buddy. Alright, he's been freed. Thank you, Pekko, for freeing the boy. Sad little lad. Alright, so we got a bunch of stuff that run through. Pleased with that. Pecco. Free this bud. This bud is free. Free him. I'm sure he appreciates it. Even if he mostly makes this known by screaming. How are you guys doing on your end? You have plenty, but no. Alright, I guess those are for you as well. Get some bonus fruits. One day we will have the phenomenal saber slime prices that I so desperately crave. Take this to the actual mango boys. Pink slimes eat anything, which is very convenient for me. Because I can just throw little bits of whatever at them. They'll be like, 
like, yay! My favorite. Hello. Ooh, do we get Ogden some ingredients or Mochi some plorts, which she'll underestimate me about? Eh. Let's, let's Mochi. Hi, Mochi. These are the easiest! Bro! Okay, two phosphor, one radiation, and four pink. One, two. Wait, was that one two? Yeah, one was two. Pink is four. Radiation is one. Okay. Look at the ground, but look at the slimes. The stream cannot handle them. How you doing? Everybody. There you are. I know I don't need these, but I want to collect them. Mostly I want to give that. Great bee drone. Oh, I just needed one. Well, I guess I'll turn this one in then. Along with my water ports. Alright, and four pink. I'm not sure why I put the darkened walls on this one. Oh well. Oh my god. Mochi, that's that's a lot of chickens. That's a lot of chicken, Mochi. Chickens! <laughs> Might have to put some of these chickens out so that I can have more chickens being made in. I will check on the quantum mosaics while I'm down here, huh? Yeah. Oh, that guy's going on a journey. Those went flying. Well-fed slimes, you love to see it. Almost too well fed. There's stuff all over the floor.
radiation ports were going up, weren't they? May as well knock some of those in while the price is still decent. This is the only kind of slime wrenching I do. The only sort of port speculation. I'm like, wow, the price is good right now. Brrr. both ports. Otherwise it'll get all lopsided. Not that it matters all that much in the long run, but it's something I worry about. for Victor's uh, thing to recharge. There's some stuff I'm wondering about that I'm not sure I've grabbed on this file. So we're gonna go on a little journey. Story-wise, we're pretty much done and we will see that soon enough, but... area to the quarry. It's been a very long time since we've been here. Ken says, whoosh. Whoosh. I am so fast. Alright, that's just the sea. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, treasure pod. Never mind. Thanks, I don't need any more rock slimes. Well, we got some fossils of slime. Disappointed in the lack of things up here. I think I might need more potatoes. Hang on. I think there's something in that cave we come in on, though. drop off these uh, materials in the lab so they're not clogging us up. Okay. That's taken care of. Let's go. Yeah, there is something up there. How do I get up there? Treasure pod! What's in there? 
royal fashion pod. Neat. Okay, cool. I can get up here. I think that's my ticket. I'm gonna wait for the recharge. Sweet. Uh, is this just an alternate uh, entrance to this area? <laughs> Darn. Oh well. Still fun. Still fun. It's good to learn things. Pardon me. These guys will not burst into funny little glitch friends. Unfortunately for me. Who is trying to give me radiation poisoning? I'm polite. Charge here a little bit. Hi, little guy. But I do see something over there, but I'm not sure if I've been in there on this file or not. You all see that little hell cave? Sweet, we made it. Okay. I haven't. Oh, sweet. Okay. Hey, buddy. Big radiation aura. Woo! Alright, we got lots of little radiation slimes. I'm just gonna vacuum it up to get them out of the way. Yes, I see the treasure pod. But also, I don't want to die of radiation poisoning. Alright, we got a key. We got a green teleporter blueprint. Alright, that's chickens. And that's more chickens. We've got another exit as well. Oh, I hear him. IXGLX has a bunch of uh, cat emotes. That's fun. Oh, hey! Freaking tar slimes. Can't have anything here on Slime Rancher Island. Alright, so now we're back here. So there was a safer way to do that, but whatever. We never do anything safe, apparently. My name is Beatrix LeBeau, and I like danger. I'm pretty sure we got the stuff on this island last week. Pretty sure we took care of the slime. Like sitting up top. Oop. Ugh, almost ran out there. That would have been very, very bad. going quite the right way up, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright, yeah, I did finish feeding him. Cool, cool. I don't remember if there's anything else on this island, actually. I mean, 
I'm sure there's like a treasure pot or something hidden around. And veteran slime rancher people will be like, Ozzy, it's right over there! What are you doing? Alas, I only know how to screw around a little bit. Really? They were having a nice time out here. Island may actually be cleaned out. Haha, <laughs> there's stuff over here. There's stuff over here. I got that thing. Okay, this island is actually done. Actually, in for reals. Unless there's something down there. I don't see anything down there. Oh, no, there's a box. It's not like a treasure pot or anything, though. Alright, enjoy your chickens, guys. I'm leaving. Nope. I am leaving the island. It is no longer my issue. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. are down there. Sorry. Ah, there's another treasure pod. Let's go get it. Yep, alright. We are good on jetpack. Let's go. What do you have for me? A green warp depot. Interesting, interesting. Alright. Oh, I see a tree. Can I make it? Can I make it? Yeah, we made it. Nice. Strange diamonds. Love those. Just making sure there's nothing hidden, like, up there. Before I head back home. There are tars everywhere except for my house. Hello slimes, I return. So that was a successful trip, I think. I can't put water in there. Ah! I know those can go in here. Ken says, win of trip. The trip was a win. Oh, we still need way more indigodium to make any more of these teleporters. I just... I just don't mind enough. <sighs> Alright. Uh, I'm going to do a quick round of this place. I'm gonna see how everyone's doing. Your Pecco says we must mine. Gets Minecraft hat. I've been playing more than enough very low key Minecraft. When I can. If I wanted to play a Minecraft, I would boot up a Minecraft. Ooh, we're gonna have to tab 
over to the next uh, part of the silo. Honk! We've got a lot of saber slimes. Saber plorts, rather. It is truly something. How are you guys doing? You are fine. You're just crying. Give me the ports, big babies. Just turned in some stuff for you guys. So you will be fine. Have some more potatoes though. numbers. I have so many of them. calling me. Who is calling me? Hello? Whomst? Oh, what do you want, Thora? You ever tried to lasso a slime? Makes the whole backpack thing pretty obvious. Ah, why do you want slimes? Okay. It's fine. I know where to get both of those. I avoided Victor because I don't like having to do the freaking slime fetching. I don't like having to fetch slime. I can't give up any of mine. I have to go hunting for them. It's just kind of inconvenient. Like everything else I can get. I can get chickens, I can get ports, I can get fruits and vegetables. slimes because I can't make them fit into any of this stuff. <laughs> they just don't they don't work that way. It'd be funny if they did. But you cannot send a Largo. Now I'm curious about whether a Slime Rancher 2 will let you because it looks like there are a billion different breeds of slime once again. 
And that means a billion different crossbreeds of slime. on the quantum slimes and then I have to go get her some quantum slimes. The reason I'm not a fan of Thora's quest is because she can pull from anything. Literally anything. It could be chickens, it could be slimes, it could be fruits don't know exist yet. Alright, that's not true. They'll always pull from stuff that you should be able to encounter given your story progression. But. Thora is a wild card, and I'm always like, ah! What do you want? Which is why I haven't really been doing her quests. Like, I appreciate that she helped me get acclimated to Slime Rancher life. TM. But. Like, I don't, I just don't like doing your quests. She can pull anything from anywhere, and that includes slimes, unfortunately. Unfortunately for me. Two water, seven glitch. Two water, seven glitch. I know where to get water slimes, and I know where to get glitch slimes. It's just a matter of doing it. I don't want to give up mine because they make lots of port for me, and I am grateful to have them. Okay. So, puddle slimes are out this way. Again, they're not like far or anything, but it's like, eh, I gotta go get them! Thora, come on! Kid says, water slime, best slime. The puddle slimes are very cute. Why is there only one here? There's usually at least one more. That's not great. Okay, uh... Alright. We'll put this one away with Thora, and then we'll come back around and see if there's another one? Cause I'm not giving her any of mine. She can't have those. Those are mine. Mine, I say. Here's one. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, glitch slimes are in the ruins. We have a shortcut to the front of the desert, so we will just use it and cut through to the uh, ruins directly with the pl the plortal. I mean, it's powered by plorts. May as well call it that, right? Right, let's find some glitchy boys. Their home 
so it shouldn't be an issue. I hear another puddle slime. Come here. Yes. Glitch. 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 <sighs> All right. That was that went a lot more smoothly than I thought. Ken says, "Ah, oh, my favorite puzzles games, Plortal and Plortal 2. Everyone loves Plortal. Everyone loves it. It's the best game ever." We have a warp back to the ranch right here. Plort. Slime. Slime, slime, slime. Thora's reward assortment is also very all over the place. Which is fun. Chicken land. Be free, chickens. Be free. Alright. You know, with all this money, I may as well get the next 7z step. What else am I actually going to do with it, right? Okay. Titan Drill Blueprint. Interesting. Again, not that I do much of the mining thing. I should probably do a little more, but I don't. Look at all these mangoes! like 20 or so in there. We'll give the rest to the honey cats. Yeah, sure. They like it. It's good for them. And they do like it. And it is good for them. Okay. I'm gonna see if Victor's uh, slimulation has finished its cooldown. Because I am ready to go, baby! Yes! Alright, so we're starting from this end of this time. Good morning. Good morning, slimes. Not a lot of sneaky boys, huh? Oh, there's one. Pardon me. Jeez, already? This is hubris for trying to come right back in immediately, I guess. little weirdos. Have you seen any? What's that? Your several funny little weirdos in a trench coat? Bite it. So 
also waiting for the pack to recharge. Alright, got that one already as well. Good news, people didn't careen into the sea that time. We got to actually see them. Nice. Hello, everybody. This is just the starting point again. Alright. I see a funny little weirdo. Or several. Well, I got the several anyway. Lots of funny little weirdos down here. Three funny little weirdos. I'm starting to wonder if it's... Lucky Slime! Where did that happen? Did you guys see or hear that? I didn't. I'm starting to wonder if it's a valid strategy to just, like, pump the vacuum and go and not worry about what gets sucked up, because it's not like you can get more than four things rather than constantly emptying it out, because nothing else gets carried out anyway except for the bug reports. So it's like, why waste the time emptying the vacuum when it doesn't really matter? hard for that. Go into the sea. Yeah, that's right. Come get me in the water if you dare, jerks. It just wants me to go back. Oh, hello. Neat! I can make a battery tower. Peko says, Tar guys to the sea. Alright, if we stay high up, we should be fine, I think. For as long as we can. I was hoping to get a little more done on this uh, run here. Really, just right over there, huh? I mean, like, 70-something isn't bad, but the last round we got over 100, and now I'm just like, eh. Maybe it fell apart faster since we did it in such quick succession, I don't know. I don't know if there's lore about it. Alright. 
Victor doesn't want us rushing lab access, even though it's all I want. You guys are fine, but I will give you a little extra. Okay, that should be good. That should be more than enough, even. Vera Pecco says, you must master the Matrix, Neo. Man, I could do that a lot easier if you let me play around in there. I'm just saying. Ghost is not enough kung fu. Whatever, man. Oh, that's cute. It's playing with it. It's just it's cat type slime. Cats will play with their food just like real cats. Adorable. That said, I've never seen Nico play with his food. He's just upset because he's hungry all the time. He's like, I'm hungry, even though he has food. And then he's like, I don't know, I'm getting enough attention. Even if he's been napping all day, it's his own fault. He doesn't understand cause and effect. He doesn't understand that if he sleeps all day, he doesn't get petted a lot because I don't want to disturb him. It doesn't cross his mind that I'm giving him space. All he knows is that he hasn't had it all day and he's lonely and sad. It's like, this is. It's a demise of your own making, bud. Alright, uh, looks like these guys are pretty good food wise. Flirt wise, once again, everything is full. Ports from these guys.
I'm thinking maybe if Victor's lab isn't ready to go by, say, uh, 9.30 or so, then I'll just go ahead and head towards the end. Because I know where it is. I discovered it on accident in my personal file. And I was like, wow, okay, so that's how this stops. Ultimately, you still end up doing more slime ranching, so... They don't go, well, you discovered the end of the game, go home, leave the planet. That'd be very rude. So they don't, and I appreciate that. Hey guys! Yeah, you guys are fine. You're always fine. tell you all about your pretty little explosions. Hello. Let's let's talk to Ogden. We did mochi last time. Oop, I didn't mean to cancel out of that. I'm working on a new recipe. Help me out. Heart beets and carrots. Okay, bud. You got it. Those are like early game vegetables, Ogden. Okay. Eight heartbeats and twelve carrots. Four, six, eight. And carrots. Carrots are in the chicken zone. like 12 carrots, right? You guys can have that one back. I hope Ogden doesn't mind uh, that chickens have been crawling all over these carrots. Hunting. Let us go. is right there. Okay. What you got? Ooh, materials. Lava dust. Interesting. And some heartbeats. Doesn't look like anything like on this bit physically, though? Which, you know, is fine, but I'm curious. Wait, nope, there's something here. 
Come to me. Treasure pod. Violet teleporter. I'm getting so many teleporters and I only have one set up. Because the desert is so dang far away. See what else we can find. I always enjoy when games have a sort of like scavenger hunt component to them. You know, as long as it's not annoying. Finding these little uh, treasure pods, had that one already apparently, is fun and I enjoy it. I get to feel like I'm doing something illegal by sneaking around up here. Even though they wouldn't have programmed in collision if they didn't want me up here, probably. says her cat Arwen condones sneaking. I'm so glad. Glad to be blessed by a little creature. Yeah. I'm just gonna say, I'm pretty sure I got that one. Oof! Careful, these guys will eat everything. There's a treasure pot in here. I couldn't get it when I found the slime before. Violet slime lamp. It feels so long ago. And it was. Because of health problems. <laughs> that I was in this cave. messed this place up for the evening. That's not great. Whoa! Oh, this just goes home. I don't know why I thought that was a secret. What are you? Coral grass patch. Probably not a great idea because of the tar potential. Our treasure hunt is far from over, but I'm gonna drop these off at the lab and keep moving, I think. pavement it was our lab upgrade how nice how nice almost looks like we know what we're doing out here almost all right back to the hunt Oh, 
Um, rude, I'm exploring. gonna be rude. I'm gonna leave them alone. I'm gonna ignore them because they're bullying me. Alright. Mossy blanket. Let's see what treats we can find in here. can I find in here? I said immediately running off in a weird direction. Liking this already. Dandy fashion pod. Interesting, interesting. This place is gonna be very dangerous. There's a wide variety of slimes at all times of day. So I guess the idea is like they want you to decorate your ranch more, but with all the materials that I'm just not digging up, I've never really felt the incentive to. Like, I'm sure there are people that do, and you know, the ranches look amazing. I never got the map for this place? Okay! Uh, well, I got it now! Yay! Oh, it helpfully tells you how much stuff you're missing. I love that. Alright. Vera Pico. Surprise! Map! I wish it told you where those things were, but eh. Can't have it all, right? Vera Pico. This game's map is cute, isn't it? It's, it's adorable. I love it. So this is the ranch. This whole like chunk here. And then uh, this bit is the um, reef around our ranch. Here's where we are now. This is the indigo quarry. This is the ruins. Uh, that big beam of light heads to the desert. Alright, so we have, like, not quite half the treasure pods in this place. That's exciting! That's fun to know. I still can't believe I somehow never picked up the map. I randomly got, uh, 50 money? Okay. Cool, cool. I love randomly getting money. If you also wish to randomly give me money, I have a Patreon, but I usually shave that spiel for the end. <laughs> another treasure pod. Let's crack this open. Amber slime lamp. I can climb these mushrooms. Delicious. I 
feel like I fudged that a little bit, but it's fine. It's night time. How do slimes get in these crates? Sheesh. I highly advise you have a jetpack and a few upgrades before tackling what's ahead. The land is all broken and twisted, and there's plenty of feral slimes about who you won't see coming before they blast you into the sea. Keep those peepers peeled. No, oh, don't you worry about my peepers. I would have hidden something in here. That's just me. Aw, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, that's right. There's a lot of uh, hunter slimes and hunter slime crossbreeds in this place. Because when you make a hunter slime, it just starts angry. And there's not a whole lot to do about that. little sign is there specifically because players kept like coming to this area earlier than they were supposed to oh okay you're sneaky <sighs> I don't remember what kind of chickens they like specifically but I have a bunch at home so you know I'll figure it out all right I will remember this guy is here remember if they like briar hens or if it's the they like roosters or something. I know that one of them likes roosters. Okay, they just spat out one. I think they like roosters. We'll give them what we find, though. failed me there. Hello. What do you have? Red Warp Depot. Nice, nice. Very cool. Alright, so that was an interesting little trip. Oh, 
Oh, and look at that. We're way up high, which is my favorite place to be in this game. I believe this spits us out near the uh, warp home. Yep, there it is. Which is great, because apparently I need to get a bunch of chickens for that guy. This isn't gonna stop crying until I go into the house. Okay, cool. We went into the house. yelling at me about her going into my house. I went into my house. Leave me alone. Wow. All right, food-wise, uh, everyone could use a little something. But it might have to wait just a little bit while I deal with Mr. Chicken Man. favorite is roosters, but I don't think I have 25 roosters lying around. Roosters don't spawn that often. It's always the rest of the chickens first. like actually happen. But we do have plenty of wild chickens, so... We are just gonna bring this guy lots of chickens. Lots of these stripey guys in particular. Hello, don't run me over please. generic name brand chicken. And then more of these stripey guys because they're everywhere. Alright. It's a lot of chickens, but you know. We do need to feed that guy. That is not the portal I want. I will feed my slimes properly when I return. They are just gonna have to deal. I apologize to them sincerely in advance. I also apologize to the hunter slime we are about to go feed 50 chickens to because I could not get his favorite. I hope he understands. that roosters are a lot harder to come by. <laughs> and I'm not giving him my roosters. I'm gonna wait to recharge. 
charge. Alright, so that's the portal home. If we stick to the tops, I think we should be able to get to that guy's mushroom pretty uh, handily here. I mean, we could get there the normal way as well, but, you know, breaking things is fun. And it's not even really breaking things. There wouldn't be collision if I wasn't supposed to be up here. Whee! Guitars are not my problem right now. Right, so there's the way home. So we need to go this way to Mr. 50 Chickens. Blade155 says hello. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Alright, here's here's where Mr. 50 Chickens lives. He's very sneaky up there. I just hope his uh, buddy down there doesn't like try to bite me. Time for chickens. I swear. Guys. Key. And lots of hunter slimes. Oh, that poor phosphor boy. Well, at least there were chickens in there. Alright, cool. So, uh, that's that done. We've dealt with Mr. 50 chickens. I want to look for more treats in this area. Now that we've taken care of the big boy. Eh, all the keys. Nice. Ah, treat. See? They wouldn't put this up there if they didn't expect people to climb up here. Ken says, keys! Mossy tree stump. I keep kind of hoping they'll have like materials inside so I can actually bake some things. But it's like, here's a decoration for your ranch. And I'm like, I don't decorate my ranch that much, thank you, but I don't do that. Sorry. I'm gonna wait to recharge my jetpack first, though. Consider it's out in the middle of nowhere. What you got? 
passion pod. I don't know if I'm gonna find, like, all the treasures in this area before I... It's gone already! They go away too quickly. What was I saying? I don't know if I'll find all the treasure around here. I'll find what I can. Including gold slimes that I can't get. Jumbo Shroom. And it's a good thing I can't drown. Ah, oh, jeez, there's TARS already. I mean, there's like 9 billion different kinds of slimes around here, but still. Not my favorite thing. Nope. Are, are they gone? I guess they're gone. Okay. Level, it's my problem. All right. Man, these slimes are dumb. It's like you know what eating another plort does to you, and they keep doing it. They're like, yep, munch. Idiot! Dummy! Fool! <sighs> I guess this is how you're supposed to get up to that particular slime, but... Playing as intended. the same slime and it just like clipped into another part of this map or did I see two? Oh, I can't catch gold slimes. Wish that I could. I think I'm just very unlucky at this point. <laughs> lucky to see them. Unlucky because my reaction time is not fast enough. Kin says, no, the baby! Baby is fine, don't worry about it. Oh yeah, got that one. Alright, we've been treasure hunting for quite a bit. I think we need to go home and check on our guys. And see if Victor will let us play around in his slimulation again. That's not the way home. Pardon me. I would not like to talk to you. Hi, gang. How's it going? some fruits. You do want some fruits. Here you go. Enjoy your fruits. Ooh, you guys filled up on ports while I was away, didn't you? I don't even have that many of these guys in here. And it's like, hey, 
Just letting you know we filled up the uh, receptacle entirely and we're all over the floor now. I mean, it's nice to know that I'm good at taking care of the slimes, but at what cost? What cost is my machine crying whenever it has to look at the actual slimes? Who are there? Who's there? Nah. Chicken, chickens. Two painted and three stripey. You got it, buddy. I know they're briar hens, but again, my brain goes stripes first. painted three brighter no not stony Briar. gently selects my chickens the goods. Look at all this fruit. Bob's like, you guys like fruit, right? Ooh, they got low. Oh dear. Those guys are okay. Ooh, I gotta fix this though. These are the babies I am worried about. Heartbeats grew while I was out hunting for treasure. Just perhaps, possibly. And I mean, treasures I did acquire. I was hoping for more stuff like teleporters, though, than ranch decor. I will go get you your mangoes in a little bit here, guys. In fact, I'm off to do that right now. Yeah, these guys are fine. These guys look kind of hungry, though. I mean, they're always hungry, but they look kind of hungry. Some of these. Not all of them, because the honey cats need work. I will give you guys a supplement of pickle pears so that you do not actually go hungry. Here you all go. how much they're going for right now real quick. Oh, I also need to get the mangoes for those guys. The honey cats. Honey cat. They need their fruit. Alright. Let's get them their fruits. 
is technically a new day, so... That means new flirt prices, and I want to see how the saber flirts are doing. They were going up yesterday. Alright, we've got a bunch of these bad boys saved up. Let's go! when I said we have a lot. This is gonna take a few trips. Thank you. Me. Let's check on Victor. The saber plorts. No. Me. All right. Prices for those things are gonna crash so hard after this. I can't wait. We are back out crashing the market. Be like. registered thing that's like by the way mochi gave you like a double appreciate it thank you mochi sound, especially when you're putting in lots of the higher value stuff like that. At least I think so. It's nice. Come here, back of emoji bonus crits! <laughs>
I'm glad we got at least one big plort payday for this playthrough. Almost everything back that we spent on a new rank up today. <laughs> Almost. These were looking pretty nice as well. So let's get some of these bad boys in there. I mean, I was gonna turn in these anyway. Because I don't normally have self control when it comes to the ports. But! For saber ports, I Waiting on like every port though? Nah, can't do that. No way. I mean, there's some decent prices on the board since I was out treasure hunting for a couple nights. I believe the way it works is um, if you head out. Okay, no. The way it works is like when you put a bunch of plorts in then the value of those plorts decreases. And so you gotta like, if you put in a bunch, then the next day the price will plummet according to how many you put in. I don't remember the exact mathematics of it, but I believe it's something like that. So like, I toss in a bunch of honey and tabby plorts. Honey and tabby plorts are always going to be cheap because I'm constantly putting them in. But if I take a break for a couple of days and don't put any ports in because I'm treasure hunting, then the value will go up because they are not being touched, essentially. And it has time to, like, bounce back. And that's when you get a... Being gone for forever also means that there's a chance for more of the ports to build up. 
so it ends up being like this cycle of I have lots of ports and I'm gonna put in all the ports. Because I have to get rid of the ports, otherwise I can't store more. They do eventually expire on the ground. So it's like you want to be putting them somewhere. I just can't be bothered to build silos in most places. Here are back as the cycle of plort continues. <laughs> Truly, the cycle of plorts. The cycle of two plort. The important thing is that we get as close as we can and that we had fun along the way. <coughs> oh jeez. some potatoes in there, thank goodness, but oh man. It's not 100% empty, but man. Thank you. That little guy's smart. Woo! Over 100 of these. Let's turn those in. Hedge says, Ozzy, you have so many monies. I do! I have lots of money. I have lots of ports. Mostly it's because of the sheer volume. But, uh, the saber plort price was very good today, so I took advantage of that. A lot of the prices are actually pretty high today, considering. Because I took a break to treasure hunt. We are back out. Beatrix Gillionaire. not even a million. It's fine. We're fine. We're not an evil corporate overlord yet. Let's see. Alright. You know, I would like the extra, like, the extra energy for my backpack. Anytime now, guys. Sorry, for my jetpack. I would like 
<coughs> I would like power core, ultimate, or whatever. Ultra. I hope that's not too much farther away. There, I spent all the money. I have a call. Are you kidding? I need to go see Victor. Who is it? Uh, Ogden. Ogden's easy. Okay. Uh, heartbeat, parsnip, prickle fruit. Oh, pardon me. Just a couple of those. some last minute saber ports in there. We made a few more. Chickens! I'll grab you later if Bob gets hungry. Okay. Alright. We're actually going to Victor's house now. And we're gonna do our best. And if we don't unlock the lab, that's fine. We've had quite the journey here in Slime Rancher. So it's fine. We'll do our best. And that's all I can promise. Omega Sonic, catch the digi slimes. I'm gonna do my best to. I do want our weird little lads in slot one. It's just a personal preference. Come here. Pecco. I was today years old when I found out rabbit tails are not cotton balls, they're actual tails. What did- what- what? what? <laughs> of course there's an actual tail under there. What did you think was going on? <laughs> did, did you think it was called the tail for flavor? <laughs> Vera Pecco, I was expecting nubs. guys this time.
is a lot nicer than having to selectively filter out stuff by constantly firing things out of the vacuum. I like it. Alright, you little creatures, come here. And a bunch of them went into the sea. Awful! are starting to form. Ooh, what are you? What are you? What are you? Did she shrub? Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> that spawned right next to my head. I don't like that at all. Yeah, that would have been too easy if it was that one. That way? Okay. I'm gonna do a little more hunting first. Water is relative safety. Here, back up. Surprised to see me, Mr. Anderson. Star Slime voices. Amazing. Truly amazing. Well, I'm glad that tars still disintegrate in water, but ooh boy. I mean, this also makes it easier in that I can just keep my finger on the uh, debug button for tar slimes. I guess we're going into the sea. This is not the same, this is just a little bit of water. Again, relative safety from TARS. is pretty good. Let's just go. <laughs> Alright, we probably could have gotten it in another couple runs, but 
takes so long to unlock it to begin with. Oh! Oh, it only turned pink because... Oh! It turned pink because I had stuff in my inventory. Oh! That's a game changer. Let's freaking go. We're gonna do this. We're gonna open Victor's lab, baby. Stop going to the sea. <laughs> you go to the sea. That goes is back to the sea -ture. Is that like back to the future but in the sea? Is that what that is? We don't want them to go into the sea. We need them. <laughs> no, here they come. The jerks. <laughs> Heading into this cave. Always get lots of lads in here. 
run it over and over again as long as you didn't have something in your inventory. It's amazing. Game changer this. All right, we are in the home stretch. For opening Victor's lab up. Seventy-four? It's all we need. Let's go. We can get seventy-four slimes. Ooh, treasure. Fruit slime bait. Interesting. I haven't needed to bait any slimes out, I just find them, but interesting. Darn, no as intended objects up there. Oh well. Those guys are mad. KJ Nelson says, hi there. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Ooh, you were the wrong one. There we go. I... Wow, okay, fine. It's dangerous here. I'll leave. says crunchy. KJ Nelson, glitch slimes are slippery as you can see. I'm well aware I've been playing this game for a while. <laughs> I'm frustrated when they're like, we're gonna jump into the ocean, and there's only so much you can do to stop them. KJ Nelson, if that's the case, you know about their extra trick. Trick of being slippery. <laughs> trick of escaping into the wall. It's not a trick I enjoy.
guys all have fun in there, I guess. Those are normal. Normal, normal. Yeah, that's regular. Okay. Whoop, here come the Tars. Pet says, aw, slime pool party. You're so cute. Here come the Tars, here come the Tars. Don't like those guys at all. It'll point me to this time. Once it eventually kicks in, anyway. Okay. Oh, there they are. Tars, my detested. Oi, you all stop that! Ooh! There was a filled object filled with slime. Just need a few more. Come on. Open the lamp. All the way up. Nelson says, even if the virtual star still find a way to annoy you. It's very unfortunate. I could do without these guys. Ooh, come here. here. Alright, we're headed this way, apparently. need to give up if I can disintegrate them. <laughs> I'll make a choice for them. Very easy. Hedge, Ozzy at the Tars. I've had about enough of this guy. I do not like this slime. It's smug or a mocks me. Oh, a bunch of you are gonna go into the ocean. Don't go into the ocean! Just a few more. Well, uh, one of you is friendly at least. Wow! No, he bit me! Made me lose some guys! Secret cave is just gone. Okay. Ooh, it's getting spicy, getting dicey. All those guys are real. Okay. What is your favorite Largo? Uh, asks Nelson. Mine is the Tabby and Honey. I really like the Quantum Mosaic. It's very cute. vacuum. Alright, good. We have just enough. Extra doesn't hurt, though. Okay. Whoa! Oh, my cave full of free guys! Turn around. This 
way, this way, this way. It seems to be this one a lot. Ow, 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 ow! Yes! Nelson says, while quantums don't mix well with much, mosaic looks beautiful with tabby. Quantums can be a little tricky to work with since, you know, they're always phasing out of existence, but I think they look nice with the mosaics. Give me your lab! Vera Pecco. I just like tabbies. The tabbies are very cute. And hunter slimes are cute for a similar reason. Alright, cool. We opened Victor's lab. We can use it for our own ends. Beautiful. A fun thing about Victor's lab is if you are having trouble getting the uh, phase lemons in the uh, ancient ruins, trees for them randomly spawn in here so you can get one here and then grow your own. It's very handy. We say thank you, Victor. Also, we have trash. You can throw stuff out. If, like, Tars get in, you could be like, Nope, go through the window. Get out. Nelson says, Hunters are adorable nuisances. They really are. Love this animal, the nuisance. Alrighty. Let's check on everyone. Make sure we're good for food and not, like, overloaded with blorts. You guys could use a little more treats. Yeah, that'll do it. Beautiful. Remainder for you guys. Those are definitely crashed by now, so we'll be storing those. <laughs> Everyone is well stocked before we begin our trek to the desert. Look at these guys, they're complaining. They're like, we've never eaten anything in our lives. Yes, you have. I have mangoes for you right here. Ooh. Running Victor's lab three times in a row may have had some effects on the food. Slower, but may as well top up. All right. <laughs> How are you guys? Your 
nothing. guys in a bit. So you guys don't stop making plorts! <laughs> yeah, that's quite the crash for the sabers. We are back a rain of plorts. It is always raining plorts here. They just don't stop ever. Who's calling me? Bob it is. Chicken! <laughs> okay, four standard, two painted. And we'll grab those after I clean up the plort situation. Not okay, not for you guys, but for you guys. Because you guys never stop. You could either make bank by holding onto your plorts till they cost a decent amount on the market, or you can just make bank from sheer volume. Guess which one I'm doing. and then we'll get Bob's chickens on the way out. It's two and four, right? I think so. going on a journey. Well, at least that explosion was inside. Four standard. Really? Mosaic's going up. Interesting. All 
All right. Okay, so we've been everywhere. We have unlocked full use of Mochi, Ogden, and Victor's personal areas. We've restored life to the desert. And uh, now there's only really one thing I want to do. And uh, that's put this play through to rest. I enjoy Slime Rancher. I've enjoyed it a lot. But it's been going for a very long time. And I know part of that has been, you know, health. In my hands. And I know I started it with the intention to be a long runner to begin with, but not quite like this. <laughs> so, let's go out the way we've been playing for a good chunk of this session, as intended. Aw, oh, we get a potted cactus. How cute. Hedge says, it's been good. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it a lot. Oh my god. Vera Pekka. Yee. Oh, I've been playing way too much uh, Legends Arceus in my free time. I'm seeing these bubbles and I'm like, oh my god, it's a space-time distortion! I gotta be careful! <laughs> Vera Pekko, a space-time distortion is formed. Alpha Sylveon sound. I'm glad you guys have enjoyed Slime Rancher. I've enjoyed playing it. But I do want to move on to another long runner at this point. Haha, <laughs> 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 towers instantly melt in the sanctuaries. Ha 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 ha. thrown off every time I hear a jingly noise. It's just mosaic slimes. Oh. Don't bite me. Looks like we're getting one last firestorm. Should be safe down here. <clears throat> well, we're not gonna be safe out here, though.
Or maybe we will. I mean, this is a cool backdrop at any rate. Two doors, Beatrix. Life is filled with moments where there's two doors and you can only choose one. I came to the far, far range because the search for the unknown is in my bones. And in time, even a thousand light years away from Earth wasn't enough. So I searched for secrets within the ancient ruins that led me here. This place was my ticket to go even further. So he makes all that fuss about two doors, but these ones, ironically enough, lead to the same place. Just making sure there's no, like, last second treasures hidden around here. <laughs> Hedge and Vera Pecco, life has many doors, Beatrix. Oh, we're getting another one. Dang, okay. The ruins are actually great engines that allow for travel through space and maybe even time. After years of study, I knew how to activate them, and I alone would be the first to cross over to the true beyond. It was the ultimate adventure. But then there's that other door. I met Thora and fell in love. What are the chances of that? She had a piece of my heart and the universe had the other. Two doors, Beatrix. So yes, both of them do lead in here. Our buddy just has a uh, flair for the dramatic, we'll call it. Okay, that's that's a bottomless pit. We're not going in there. Is there something on this side? I mean, there's actual ground on this side. Okay, no, there's nothing on this side. I will look for secrets to the very end. I chose my door. I went back to the rat and promptly sold it. I packed my things and took a tour of this beautiful land one last time, leaving these little notes for you. It was time I said goodbye to the life I had. My hands and feet tingled as I approached this monolithic warp terminal. What lay ahead of me was an adventure unlike anything I had ever known in my life. I stepped onto the platform, my heart racing. You also took the time to leave me this message in the middle of all that. <laughs> Which I appreciate. Wow, a single slime. I swear I can hear something. Can it just be me? All right. But I didn't go. I had packed for a new adventure, but it wasn't going to be beyond space and time. So I said a little goodbye to what could have been and headed to Thora's ranch. I'm looking forward to hearing the sound of those wind chimes. I've never been in love before, never known anything like it. It's time I got to doing what all the fuss is about. So good luck to you, Beatrix. Always remember to use your head, but let your heart do the thinking every now and again. It might surprise you. I believe we need to head back to the ranch after this for our very last little bit here. Hedge. Sounds like wind chimes. Sure does. Me. Wow, what a beautiful moment continues to hop around the game in ways possibly not intended. <laughs> wow. So lovely, so cute. Continues to platform in ways that maybe the devs weren't thinking I should be doing. What a touching story, I say, completely messing everything up on the way home. Wow! <laughs> I 
hope they're okay. They were doing some serious twitching there. Hedge. Wow, what a beautiful moment. Jetpack fart noise. It's not my fault it sounds like this. There's stars down there. I, I do not hear them. I am I'm jetpacking away. Good thing fall damage isn't real. I am looking away. I do not see the tar. I do not see them. underestimate me every day. I think I might have to like sleep or like head into my house in order to get the last little uh, cutscene so I will take care of this request for Mochi real quick and then actually let Beatrix take a nap for once in her god darn life. Well, it's fine. Ah, it was three. Sorry, Mochi. She's throwing more chickens at me. Come on, Mochi. It's the end of the game. And you're throwing chickens at me? We just, like, experienced a beautiful moment about, like, love and finding your place in the universe. And you're like, Hey, Beatrix! I'm gonna throw chickens at you. Well, there's a lot of chickens. All right, fine. You win. You and your chickens. You win. Go, chickens. Find your place in the universe. Some mail. Another tour. Casey. Hi, B. There's another tour coming up, and I have a feeling that this will be the one. So here I am, packing my bags and thinking of you. Maybe this is how it felt when you were leaving for your big adventure. Lots of excitement, lots of butterflies. And even though I know you're so far away, I keep thinking that maybe I'll catch you somewhere out there in the crowd. If that ever happens, I promise I'll sing a song for you. Wouldn't be the first time. Casey. That day, Beatrix took a moment to reflect. 
She thought about Hobson and Thora and the adventures she'd had exploring the far, far range. But most of all, she thought of Casey and wondered where life would take her next. Oh, please don't say that you'll go. My heart can't bear the news. Just knowing that you'll be a thousand light years away if you do. And that was Slime Rancher. And will you know when it's through? When you find what you're looking for, will you know what to do? thousand light years away when you do oh when you do I appreciate the slime planetoids and I should have said it before you were gone cause I'm kicking myself away here if I go some slime is green oh god there's a horrible tar nebula on the back and ah! <laughs> So, I've been playing this game for a long time. Longer than I thought I would be, although that's not entirely, you know, great. So please don't say that you go. Not happy that it took so long due to, you know, hand problems, but I've had fun with this game. I've enjoyed it a lot. I do wish that I'd figured out how the heck to make it behave properly in recording, but some games you just don't get it well, I'm just and you know that's fine at the stars. other than that I had a good time I am looking forward to the sequel although it'll probably take me a while to play it because I'm gonna wait for them to like patch in everything that they want if they uh, develop it similarly to the way they did this one For every pioneer on every new frontier, be brave, be bold, and stay wiggly. Of course, then you get to keep playing because, you know, of course you do. And, wow, Hobson sent us some real mail. Before we sign off, let's see what it says. Hello, Beatrix. I just wanted to say thanks for taking care of the old ranch. I know I left it in a bit of a sorry state, and from what I hear, it's looking mighty fine these days. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy knowing that it's in such good hands. As a little thank you, I've activated three secret vaults that I built years ago to stash a small fortune of mine. I'd always planned on using it as walking around money in the great beyond, but I ain't needing for that no more. But you know me, I like a good adventure. I'm not telling where the vaults are located. Go explore! <laughs> so that's your last bit of sliming that you get to do. Finding Hobson's secret vaults. And I would happily go find them, but... I only remember where one of them is clearly. I remember where one of them is halfway, and the third one I have no idea. So, uh, instead... Go play this game and go find them yourselves. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the Slime Rancher playthrough. I'm sorry it took so long to get finished, but, you know, health takes priority. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the playthrough, please consider donating to my Patreon if you can. Uh, $1 a month will give you access to stream-related art and writing before it goes up on other social media. $5 a month will let you vote on what I draw. Or right, and ten dollars a month will give you access to Photoshop files if there are Photoshop files to be had. Thank you all for coming. I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a good rest of your evenings, and I hope you are all staying wiggly and taking care of yourselves.
Take care, everybody, and good night.